to our news conference announcing our new men's head basketball coach here at Tennessee State University. Uh, the flow of the program will be, you'll hear from our athletics director, Ms. Teresa Phillips, followed by brief remarks from President Linda Glover, then an intro of our new head coach, and then comments from our new head coach, and we'll take questions and answers as well. So without further ado, let's welcome our athletics director, Ms. Teresa Phillips. Welcome to the Keene Hall section of our Floyd Payne Campus Center. And I want you to know why we're here. We are here in this particular place because it has significant historical significance for <laughs> basketball. Does anybody know what Keene's Little Garden is? Yeah, it's right around the corner. It's where we won uh, three national championships in men's basketball in 57, 58, and 59. This is a hallowed place for TSU athletics and men's basketball. So we chose this place intentionally. So I want to welcome all the media who are here, our TSU alums, our friends, our students. We hopefully have some of our men's basketball players here. It's very important that you're here today because this is a very big day for us. First, let me thank President Glover for the confidence that she placed in me, the advisory group, and also the administrative staff in this process. I think that was very important. She was very confident that we would conduct a thorough and a fair search for this new men's basketball coach. Uh, Dr. Glover has been fully engaged in this process, though, also. Uh, she allowed me to carry out my duties as athletics director, but she really gave me good insight and she kept her hands on the pulse of what we did, and I'm very pleased with that. Uh, she's been really, really on the same page in athletics ever since she came here uh, over a year ago. And the one thing that she said, those of you who work at Tennessee State, one of the things she says often is, professors teach, administrators are to administrate, the cooks in the food services, their job is to cook, janitors clean, the coaches and athletes, they are to win. And that's what I love about you. She, she, she knows what we're supposed to do. So here's Dr. Glenda Glover. Please welcome her as she comes up. Good afternoon, day, day in TSU history. Thank you all for joining us for this announcement. I want to thank our elected officials for being here, uh, the assistant member of TSU Foundation members, our senior management team, the alumni, National Alumni Association, the Richard Carroll Bands and basketball team, all TSU supporters, thank you for coming. Several weeks ago, eight, uh, Athletic Director Phillips and I began uh, discussions about um, the search for a new uh, men's head basketball coach. It was important to select an individual who truly had a love for the game, along with the reputation to recruit, to motivate, and most importantly, to win. From the president's perspective, my perspective, it was essential to select someone who would be committed to putting in the time and the effort to rebuild our men's basketball program and to bring enthusiasm back to our fan base and to the TSU family and students, the alumni, the faculty, the staff, and the community. So we're delighted to have Coach Dana Ford we join the TSU family, and we look forward to him having a team of young men who excel on the court and in the classroom. So on behalf of the university, congratulations, and welcome to Tennessee State University. <laughs> but I will be remiss. I, want, I do want to thank our administrative group who was involved in this process and the uh, extraordinary uh, advisory committee some of them are here today so if you don't mind would you at least stand and be acknowledged because I think they did such a marvelous job uh, this is the advisory group who interviewed all of the final candidates uh, head coach Larry Edmond of the women's basketball team Cassandra Griggs who works in our development Office for Alumni Affairs, Sandra Hunt, who is the president of the Nashville chapter of alumni, and where is Frank Ballard? Frank Ballard, who is a financial advisor with Edward Jones. So those and, and a couple of student athletes were the individuals who, yes, give them a hand. I think they did a marvelous job. We had over 75 official applicants, but we brought it down to seven, and I'm going to tell you, they were very insightful with their reasoning 
very absolutely on point with their recommendations. Uh, also, my uh, administrators in athletics and other professionals, they did a marvelous job also throughout this process. It looks really easy in athletics. But, you know, really, there's a great deal of knowledge and expertise in our department, and often it goes really unacknowledged and um, unknown and unrecognized. So I want to say thank you. If no one else says thank you to my administrative staff and the professionals and other coaches, I want to tell you thank you for the work that you do. You work very hard. You work very diligently with high ethical, moral standards here at our athletics department at Tennessee State, and I appreciate you greatly. But... It's time for us to introduce a new era of men's basketball for Tennessee State. And I'm going to tell you, uh, we are going to be in the hands of what I describe as a rising star. A rising star. He is a well-rounded man with intensity, drive, magnetism, and wisdom that goes beyond his chronological years. He's almost like an old man. He really is. I think he's the right fit at the right time. And he is here today with his beautiful wife, Christina, and his two young sons. I'm very excited to be introducing to you our new head men's basketball coach, Coach Dana Ford. opportunity. Um, he's always made a way for me and, and I wouldn't be anything obviously without him and his favor of my life. Uh, I want to thank my family. My wife is here. Uh, she's being introduced, Christina, uh, my better half. Uh, she's my driving force every day. My two boys, uh, Cameron, he's 10, and uh, Carson, he's one, and we're actually expecting a child in September. So, we, uh, <laughs> Um, a special thank you to President Glover, Athletic Director uh, Teresa Phillips um, for believing in me, believing that I'm the right person at the right time for this job. I also want to thank uh, all the committee members, whichever committee they were on, whether it be the administration or, or the other committee. Um, it is a new day here and what, what my main goal is, is to build a program that the current students and the past alumni can be proud of. Uh, we cannot guarantee any victories, but we can guarantee the type of basketball that we're going to play. <laughs> I'll take that back. We can guarantee as many as we can. Um, you know, as I go on here, I want to thank a couple coaches who have helped me along the way. Uh, most recently, Dan Muller, who's the head coach at Illinois State University trusted me to be his associate head coach the last two years and uh, I really want to show my appreciation to him and say thank you. Also Greg Marshall who is the head coach at Wichita State University, a tremendous basketball coach, actually gave me my start in college basketball as a GA uh, after I finished my undergrad at Illinois State and then uh, my, my life mentor John Cooper who's a former head coach here who, who helped turn the program around uh, he, he's been great to me, and he's definitely been an oasis in the desert in terms of my life. So I want to thank those three. And then uh, after that, really, it's, that's enough about me because I'm actually here to talk about the program. Uh, this university is men's basketball program, and um, it's about the players. And it's about the current players that are already here, who I'm going to have an opportunity to meet uh, later on today. And from what, everything I've heard, they're all great guys, and I'm really looking forward to working with them, along with adding uh, new players as we go along here in the near future. So um, this program will always be about its players. And players win games. And they deserve all the credit when that happens. And when they don't win those games, I deserve all that credit. So just want to get that, get that clear. Um, recruiting is the lifeline of a program. I have had a pretty good track record as a recruiter and um, the, the thing that I've always been told is any head coach is as good as his staff and the assistant coaches are the ones who are out 
beating the bushes, turning over every rock, trying to find those guys. And I'm um, looking forward to putting together the best possible staff for this job. And as long as they can bring me good players, I think there's some good things in store for this program. Um, in regards to playing style, the only thing that I can definitely promise is we're going to defend with our hair on fire and we're going to rebound like madmen. Anything after that, I'm quite unsure. Um, I know everyone wants to play fast. A lot of that determines on your personnel. But if it, if it doesn't have anything with defense or rebounding, uh, I'm really not interested in it right now. So those will be the two staples of our program. Um, again, just want to say how thankful I am, how grateful I am, how proud I am in this university. It is a new day, like it's been stated before. And I'm just happy to be the person to take this program uh, into that new day. So now I think we can open it up for any questions. Coach, did you help uh, recruit some of the players that were here after Cooper, Coach Cooper? Yes, um, I came in with, with Coach Cooper, I want to say it was April 9th, 2009, and um, the very first player that we went to go see together was Rob Covington, and um, we did not know Robert Covington would end up being the player that he was. We actually saw him in a three-on-three -three in an open gym, so we didn't even see him play full court. But um, Rob was a guy that, that I helped recruit, and um, our, our entire staff helped recruit it. It wasn't just me, but uh, Patrick Miller was another player who was on this year's team. Kellen Thornton, Jordan Cyphers, a, a lot of the guys that were here, yeah, we, we all kind of recruited together as a staff, so yes. Coach, um, to continue along the, the idea of, of uh, recruiting, can you share with us kind of what your philosophy of recruiting is, how you go about identifying players? And, those that will fit well into this program? Right. The, the first thing we want to do is bring in good people. Uh, I learned that from Coach Cooper. Uh, the more good people you have, the better product that you have. So uh, after we find out how good of a person they are, we, we'd like to know if they can handle the workload in terms of academics. We want our guys to be successful on and off the court. And then after that, uh, we, we would like for them to, to have some athleticism, some size, some skill. Um, just like anything in life, bigger is better. So um, if we can find, you know, the 6'4 athletic point guards, then that's what we'll be going after. So uh, we just want good people that are, are willing to do the work and then can also uh, lead to some victories on the floor. Once you get beyond um, defense and, uh, and rebounds, what's your formula for a long-term success for the program, both for you and the basketball? Right, well, um, like I said, the key to any program is the players. And uh, one thing that you want to do is you want to recruit young players if you can and try to build the program around those guys. Um, now, not to say that we won't recruit some older players because we, we most definitely will, but if you get young players in that, that have the potential to succeed at your level and, and, and be able to produce wins, then as a coach, that motivates you to, to coach those guys and, and to stay with those guys and to build a program. Uh, one thing about this school and me is it kind of it fits my personality. Uh, I've always lived life with a chip on my shoulder with something to prove. And um, I, I just feel like at this point in time, that's what this university needs, this men's basketball program needs. Someone to kind of, um, I don't want to say resurrect, but kind of bring the program back. And uh, I take a lot of pride in that. And, and that's something that I'm looking forward to building, you know, over the next how many other years? Coach, can you come in on some of the specific things that you remember about being here at TSU as opposed to other schools you've been at or worked at? That's a great question. Uh, the first thing I remember that, that's different than any other school is the family atmosphere. Uh, this is a family university, and um, I just, people welcomed me with open arms. Even the first time I was here, definitely the second time I came back, not a lot of handshakes, but a whole lot of hugs. And uh, that, that's the one thing that, that stands out to me uh, about Tennessee State. And our program will be built on, on family. Um, I'm not going to try and be a father figure to some of the players. I'm their basketball coach. But a uh, basketball coach cares about players kind of like a father would care about a son. So we are going to preach that family atmosphere and hopefully let it spread you know, throughout our program.
Well, if you don't have any further questions, uh, we will follow with a reception in the back here. Uh, once again, he did introduce his lovely wife, but we'd like for her to stand if she could, so okay. everyone can see her and the family. Okay. Christina Ford, Cameron Carson, welcome to TSU. Uh, Coach Ford would also be available if you like to do some one-on-ones from the various stations, TV uh, stations, radio, and print. So if that's the case, we'd like for you to be good. We'll take you in order, and we'll go over to the corner here to uh, or stand here so we can do some interviews with them. Other than that, that concludes our news conference. Thank you for attending, and we have refreshments in the black. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 